Uh, we haven't talked about uh, American art, and there is an American art scene that will develop, uh, particularly in the 1940s. Uh, one of the new trends that, be that originates in the United States, probably the first truly American art trend, is action art. Um, this is uh, Autumn Rhythms by Jackson Pollock. And again, drips and splatters of paint, very, very easily dismissed as anybody can do this. But the concept behind uh, Jackson Pollock's work um, had to do with the idea that art is really about the action and the process of the artist. And it is the dripping and the splattering and the movement and the decisions that are made as to when is enough, when is too much, uh, when do you use black, when do you use white, that those are the things that are important in art. It is the process that is important. Okay, two figures that we have from uh, the early 1900s, Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, uh, are important to include for a number of reasons. Um, they represent two of the most important uh, Latino artists that we have. Uh, also, there was a, a, a muralist, uh, a Mexican mural tradition that developed in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, Diego Rivera was a, a key part of that. Uh, Frida Kahlo married him, and she became part of uh, not the mural tradition, but of the, the modern art movement. And two very, very uh, interesting individuals. Um, he, for his, his role in reviving the mural tradition, um, she for holding her own in a very, very much a man's world and becoming uh, a noted uh, surrealist painter in her own right. Uh, we have a number of new art forms that are going to develop, uh, that will develop in the modern era, things like environmental art, or installation art, performance art. They are all different, and they are all considered conceptual. Uh, it is the idea or the concept that we associate with these uh, works of art that, that really are central uh, to understanding or appreciating them. We will have things like the work of Robert Smithson, uh, an example of environmental art. Environmental art, this is an example of environmental art by Robert Smithson, and this is called Spiral Jetty. Uh, a really cool example of using the surface of the earth as your canvas, uh, actually uh, creating this giant design, which is going to be influenced by the rise and uh, by the rising of the tide, it's also going to be affected by the erosion of the jetty itself. Um, when viewed from different places, you get very, very different images. We have performance art. Uh, again, very much conceptual, very much uh, a part of the modern art movement. And installations. Installation art is about creating an atmosphere, an environment. Uh, they are temporary exhibits for the most part. Uh, this is by Edward Keenholz. This is called State Hospital. Um, and in it we have these, uh, you look into a small cell, uh, like a ward in a mental hospital, and you have these uh, two figures made of fiberglass that are isolated in this very barren, nasty location. They're uh, hang, not handcuffed, but they're they're strapped to the bed, and, and yet we have one of them thinking, um, and you have to wonder what does that mean. Uh, in their heads, we have uh, goldfish balls, and there's a, a goldfish swimming uh, inside of these uh, decaying, decrepit uh, mental patients. And again, the conversation, what does that goldfish mean? Uh, is there a spark of life? Is he aware of, of his environment? Um, all of those conversations and all of those discussions are, are really um, 
the important important part of this conceptual work. Keen Holtz had actually uh, spent time working in uh, a, a mental health hospital in the 1940s, and this work um, is clearly seen as a influenced by his personal experiences. Okay. And then we have uh, yet another example of an installation, The Man Who Flew Into Space from His Apartment. Uh, Kabakov is a, a Russian immigrant. He immigrated to the United States in the 1960s, the height of the Cold War. And here, again, we have this small environment, a small crowded room filled with propaganda, where the ceiling has been torn out uh, as uh, apparently somebody who constructed this giant slingshot uh, shot himself through the ceiling of the room off into space. Um, lots of discussion about uh, the, uh, the propaganda on the walls, about the liberating of the person, uh, about where he went, uh, about, uh, about how you free yourself from this environment. And then you have various art forms that uh, that you have to wonder, okay, who is this meant for? Uh, Light Cycle, uh, an explosion project from New York City, is done by an artist who creates temporary works of art using light and explosions. And the question is, maybe this is meant to be viewed by somebody further away than people on this planet. All different types of art forms, all different ways of looking at things, uh, all different ways of expressing yourself.